Building a composting system for your garden is an excellent way to recycle organic waste, enrich your soil, and improve plant health and productivity. Here's how to build a composting system. Choose a location. Select a suitable location for your composting system, ideally in a convenient spot near your garden or kitchen. Choose an area with good drainage, access to water, and sufficient airflow. Avoid placing the compost pile directly against structures or trees, as this can inhibit air circulation and attract pests. Select a composting method. Decide on the type of composting method that best suits your needs and available space. Common composting methods include bin or enclosure. Build or purchase a compost bin or enclosure to contain the compost materials and maintain a neat and organized composting area. Pile or heap. Create a simple compost pile or heap directly on the ground, allowing the materials to decompose naturally over time. Gather composting materials. Collect a mix of brown, carbon-rich, and green, nitrogen-rich, materials to create a balanced compost pile. Brown materials include dried leaves, straw, shredded paper, and cardboard, while green materials include kitchen scraps, grass clippings, fruit and vegetable waste, and garden trimmings. Avoid adding meat, dairy, oily foods, and pet waste to the compost pile, as these can attract pests and produce odors. Layer the materials. Start building your compost pile by layering alternating layers of brown and green materials, starting with a base layer of coarse materials such as twigs or straw to promote airflow. Aim for a ratio of roughly two parts brown materials to one part green materials by volume. Add water as needed to keep the compost materials moist but not waterlogged, like a damp sponge. Aerate the compost. Turn or aerate the compost pile regularly to promote decomposition and improve airflow. Use a pitchfork, garden fork, or compost aerator to mix and fluff the materials, ensuring that oxygen reaches the microorganisms responsible for breaking down the organic matter. Turning the compost pile every one to two weeks helps accelerate the composting process and produces finished compost more quickly. Monitor and adjust. Monitor the temperature, moisture level, and decomposition progress of your compost pile regularly. Aim for a compost temperature of 120 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit, 49 to 71 degrees Celsius, which indicates active decomposition. Adjust the moisture level as needed by adding water to dry compost materials or incorporating dry materials to absorb excess moisture. The compost pile should feel moist, like a wrung-out sponge. Harvest finished compost. Once the compost materials have broken down into a dark, crumbly, earthy-smelling substance, it's time to harvest the finished compost. Depending on the size of your compost pile and the composting method used, this process can take several weeks to several months. Use a garden fork or shovel to remove finished compost from the bottom or center of the pile, leaving any unfinished materials to continue decomposing. Use compost in the garden. Apply the finished compost to your garden beds, containers, and landscaping to improve soil fertility, structure, and moisture retention. Spread a layer of compost around plants, incorporate it into the soil when planting, or use it as a top dressing for lawns and turf. Compost adds organic matter, nutrients, and beneficial microorganisms to the soil, promoting healthy plant growth and reducing the need for synthetic fertilizers. By following these steps and maintaining your composting system regularly, you can create a sustainable and nutrient-rich source of compost for your garden, reduce waste, and promote environmental stewardship.